Access Module 4 Visual Workshop. Go ahead and open 4-5. Enable the editing and you have your tables located on the left hand side and we're going to create a query, a design query. So cre select Create, Query Design and we're going to use the classes, so double click the classes table, sections, enrollments, and students. From the classes, we're going to use the description column, so double click description, and then class number, and then from enrollments, grade, and then from students, first name and last name. And then we'll run the report and choose save and this will be called student grades. And then we'll go back to, um, we're in data shape sheet view right now, which looks like Excel and where the name is Carl, you'll fill in your name and then for his last name, you'll fill in yours. And if you notice on um, further about halfway down, there's a Carl Wilson. As soon as you or Willis, as soon as you um, click into another cell, it'll change to all your name. And then just click save, and you can close out of here. And we'll create a report next. Choose. Uh, make sure that the student grades, the query that we're going to use for our report, is selected just once, not open, just selected. Then choose create and now you can click report. If this was not selected student grades, this report would be grayed out. So report and based on the query, here's our report with those same columns, description, class number, grade and so forth, first name, last name. But if you notice that there's a dotted line that comes down on the end, right in the middle, um, it, this would print on one page and this would be on the next. So we can um, change the column width of class number and grade. It does not need to be that large, or that wide of a gap. So if you click class number, which is the column title, and then hold shift and click anything below it, it selects the whole column. Then hover to the right where you have your boundary and just make it narrow. Do the same thing, select grade, and then hold shift and click any field underneath it. And again, make it smaller. And first name, you can make that a little bit smaller too. And we're starting to get everything on one page. And last name, I'll do the same thing, just um, a little bit. And then what they, what they want to have the grade to show up after. So we want to move the order of these. So select grade. And again, shift and select anything. And then just make sure you're on the boundary, which is the top border of the column heading. And then just with your left mouse hold and drag, see the red line, you're moving it, and then let go. So you just moved grade so it's last. Next, we'll change the title. It'll be, we'll put a space in here, student space, and it'll be grade listing. And then we'll go into design view. So if you click the view arrow, you'll get more choices and you'll choose right now we're in layout view, choose design view. And we're going to delete all of the controls that are in the page footer and the report footer. So here's the page footer and the report footer. So if you just click in there and then click on the boundary and select delete and do the same thing on the count, select the border and delete. The report header will also click the um, text box for the date and also for the time. And then make sure if you notice it stretches way out to um, 16 inches, which is way too far. So if you click the handle button on the left corner, that will select everything. And then when you drag over to the right, you can reduce the size of it to about eight inches, maybe a little more.
and then we'll click Save. And this will be called Student Grade Listing. And then we'll also view it in Print Preview. So I wasn't sure if you got this, but you were to, after you reduce the size of it to eight inches, click Home, click View, and select Print. And there's your report in Print Preview. To exit Print Preview, just cl click Close Print Preview. Save and submit. Thank you.